The resolution is different. Could you help me? No, it's the right one. Is it the right one? one? It's the right one, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, now it's working. Hi, good afternoon. It's six meters. <laughs> Okay, once again, good afternoon. My name is Hajime Narukawa. And like many of you, I guess, I'm a designer and an architect. And as, a as an architect, I research and I continue to research a prospective drawing that is a projection method. We designers use such drawing for describing a three-dimensional uh, object that you can design on a rectangular piece of paper. I have always been interested in the projection method and I discovered and I developed an original projection method that could create a new world map. Today, I would like to briefly show that world map to you. Let's start with the globe. Let's consider where we are. Can you see where we are on that planet? Now we are in Linz, so we are around uh, here. And uh, are, we, are we around here? No, sorry. Around here. Am I correct? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> there's, a, um, there's a no edge where the world suddenly ends with the waterfalls or dragons, as was believed 500, 500 years before. To perceive our Earth, we have two tools, a globe and two-dimensional world map. A globe can show the proper size of Japan, which is very small, <laughs> unfortunately, and Eurasia, which is huge. And uh, we can also see the distance and the direction, such as from Linz to Tokyo. In this way, the globe can accurately show all sizes, shapes, and distance, but globe is limited. It cannot give us, in one picture, a general overview of the Earth, so that if you look at Eurasia, you cannot see the United States United States behind its sphere. That's why human being invented a flat two-dimensional world map. And that world map we have been using sometimes is unable to offer a clear, accurate rendition of our planet. Now, let's turn to two prior artworks to illustrate why I developed a new world map. First, it is very important to recognize that there is no perfect resolution in representing a spherical image onto a flat rectangular piece of paper. There is always a distortion in every world map. In its long history of map making, the Mercator projection is one of a few prior arts of its kind that fits into a rectangle and has been familiar for 440 years. It was created to help sailors navigate to great discoveries. But the first challenge on, the, on a globe map is the shortest distance between two points is described as a curve. For example, an air flight from Tokyo. I'm sorry, I have to use an uh, uh, example for a Japanese. So one air flight from Tokyo to Brazil via Houston uh, looks like it's described as a curve. So it's like a, a first we fly from Tokyo from west to east and then detouring and going from north to south. Secondly, the globe cannot I'm sorry. Secondly, the globe cannot properly depict the polar regions. For example, Greenland seems larger than Australia. So actually, Greenland is the, 
the biggest island, but still much smaller than Australia. But it describes uh, Greenland is much larger, larger than Australia, even larger than Africa, which is not true. Third, it is hard to determine the shape of Antarctica. Antarctica is very huge, but not as big as described in this map, and also distorted towards the east and west. Here is a map developed by Buckminster Fuller in 1946 that is much more accurate than the Mercator map. This dimensional map properly represents sizes and shapes of continents. Its priority is to keep the proper shape of con all continents without interruption. But as you see, the depictions of the oceans are interrupted. Like these two examples, I found that all existing map either contains distortion when transforming an entire sphere to a rectangle, or when reducing distortion, maps are unable to fit the outline in a rectangle without gaps. I wonder, can we make a better map that better fits a sphere into a rectangle like Mercator, Mercator does and minimize distortion like the Dimension map at the same time? The following animation shows that how I discover an answer to this challenge. Now, this is the Earth and now I divide the surfaces, uh, the Earth's surface equally divided into 96 triangle strip drawn by a white line, as you see. Then transfer, trans, uh, the sphere is transformed to an inflated tetrahedron, hedron, that is something like a three-sided pyramid with a triangular bottom. Then uh, the small triangles are mapped onto an inflated tetrahedron like this, and then the outwardly curved surface are flattened to compose a tetrahedron. Now, finally, a rectangular world map is obtained by cutting and opening up the tetrahedron like this way. Its aspect ratio substantially fits in a wide used high vision 9 by 16 monitor. And then the world map is able to be tiled without gap, gaps, overlaps, or visible seam by rotating the map 180 degrees like this way. You can get the pattern like Anne Escher's painting as you see, yes. From this tiled map, a rectangular viewer, viewer can frame a different world map like this, showing six continents without interruption. And then, in addition, the viewer can devise new world map for a people for Brazil, or you can also change the form to triangle by centralizing Antarctica at the center, or you can rotate the rectangular frame and uh, centralizing the United States or South Africa. In this way, the viewer can realize his or her connection to our planet. Now, the method offers greater accuracy, such as depict, depicting Greenland, which is now, yeah, here's a Greenland here. Oh, there's a two projections. The Greenland is here, which is much smaller than Australia. Again, Greenland is much smaller than here, Australia. And you can see the size and shapes of Antarctica, which is here.
you can also、uh, visually understand why Houston is on the way from Tokyo to Brazil. So, from Tokyo to Brazil, Houston is it's on, on the way. So, that's why all, almost all airplanes stop over at Houston. I have to mention that, like all two dimensional m a p the orthograph map is not perfect. There are some challenges for, for uh, there are,、uh, some challenges. For, for this version, I optimize the accuracy in size and then reduce distortion of shape and angle as much as I could. So if, I, if you look at the map very carefully, you can see some slight distortion. Can you, can you find? I can show you. For example, yes, correct. Are you from South America? A friend of mine who is from Brazil pointed out that、uh, the corner of Brazil is not quite as pointed as indicated here, as you see. So, this orthograph map is not perfect, but I reduced the distortion as much as possible. In other words, I distribute this distortion quite evenly so that you can have a better view. Or, as a consequence, by such projection, the network of longitude and latitude looks like a complicated spider web, like as you see. So, that sometimes it's not really convenient to describe a certain theme. But, for, for example, The orthograph map is good for showing the movement of continents as this detailed orthograph map shows. The continents have wandered all around the Earth. The orthograph map distributes the distortion evenly, therefore, it can show all parts of these movements equally, while the Mercator map or other similar maps exaggerate the movement around the polar regions. This animation shows a continent, continental drift for past 650 million years based on data from paleogeographer Ron Brackey. Now,、uh, for example, you can see, you have to look at here carefully. Now,、uh, for example, here, this is India, separated from Antarctica. Separate from、uh, with Madagascar, swim across the Indian Ocean and、uh, crash into the Eurasia continent. continent. That's how this Himalaya was made of. The, this kind of geographical information you can, have visually, you can visually understand. Long ago, it was thought that. The world is on an infinite plane. Since the geometry of the sphere and an infinite plane are similar, working on both end,、uh, work, working on both surfaces, we, we do not meet the end. The orthograph map is able to tile and extend so as to reproduce a spherical world without end on a plane. The orthograph provides a new perspective. To equally view the world so as to be free from existing perception, such as up north or far east. I think now、uh, it is very important for all of you to experience the orthograph world map and discover your own personal points of view. This is Joe Pallet. It is an online map archive made by m i r a i k a n Using the orthograph map, so you can use this service in the internet. I can show some e x a m p l e of how this, can, this geograph,、uh, geopolitics can do.、Yeah. Mirai can gather several hundreds of types of、uh, statistical and geographical data of the world and visualize them according to orthograph format. You are free to browse. Those hundreds of thematic maps, such as a world map made by satellite picture, a map of 
uh, internet users or a distribution map of carbon dioxide. From this map, for instance, I chose a map of literacy rate to visualize by author graph, like this way. There, you can edit the, uh, the gradation of theme. There are several hatch patterns to depict it. You can adjust its transparency, or you can change the color. And then you can overlap several maps to create your own unique map. For instance, um, this is very kind of a silly uh, example, but if one believes that um, happiness, I mean happiness, st or stable content, uh, country can be valued by uh, literacy rate, average lifespan, and average unemployment, and uh, yeah, here comes uh, average lifespan, and uh, then, oh, divorce rate. You can overlap this thematic map of those frames of references. You can design a color scheme of each map so, so that orange is more saturated when the country is in a better state according to statistical data. You can add the comment and upload your map with your comments to the site to share your new vision of our world. And you can also get the feedback from other users. You can, of course, change the center of the map. And also, you can zoom in in Europe to see the details to check uh, Austria. And Austria is quite, looks orange and quite happy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I use the orange, which is a kind of a representative, uh, representing color of the, uh, the Netherlands, but it doesn't say the, how the Dutchness is. So, it, so I have to change the color. <laughs> yeah, also, you can zoom out and uh, rotate the viewer frame and slide and crop our world from new angle with a new center like this way. In this way, we provide an opportunity to you to become familiar with your world by creating your new vision of our planet. You can experience Geopark here in this building, at the exhibition space, outside of this hall. So uh, if you have time, you are mo uh, we are more than happy to uh, that you touch the geo palette to uh, discover your own vision of the world. And we are more than happy to have a discussion with you outside of the, uh, this hall at the exhibition space after this symposium. And also, Mahoro and I have a presentation tomorrow, which is a one hour presentation at the deep space. There, I can show more example by using this orthograph world map. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much.